Dragon Age 4 exists. It's real, guys. I mean, we knew this already, but now we have definite proof that, look, this is a game now. Look at all these pre-rendered images and concept art. It's real. Appreciate that, Gamescom. And Casey Hudson. Casey Hudson looked kind of swole in that video. Did you guys think about that? He looked kind of swole. And it was great to see our uh, buddy, Mark Dara, showing off. This, you know, the guy's still there after through all thick and thin of what's been going on at Bioware. That guy is a champ and a trooper. That's a man that doesn't give up on his dream. Hey everybody, my name is Nico the Legend, also known as the one man or teenager in the Snowflake. And today we're going to be talking about Dragon Age 4. Uh, the very early look we got to see at Gamescom 2020 today on August 27th. 2020. Now, this is going to be one of those lazy videos where I read off the article because considering that there's not much information about the game in, in its entirety, we do know a few things here and there. And we got, you know, we got a little bit of a taste. I actually was happy on what I saw. It was really cool to see some of the voice actors that play the characters, like some new ones and, and definitely an old favorite of ours. Yes, we all know what I'm talking about. That bold elf mother. Never mind. No, uh, it was all great. I was actually pretty happy. I know we didn't see anything Mass Effect related, but uh, in terms of just Bioware games, but at least we saw something from Bioware. Something to at least give us some trickle of hope that they're still working on our favorite franchises, you know? And I know this seems obvious and, and trivial to say, but I gotta let you guys know that, you know, you gotta keep the faith alive, pretty much. And I just hope that it turns out well in the end. It's, it's funny when you hear Casey Hudson talk about the game com, uh, coming out six years ago by getting Game of the Year. I was like, oh, we talking about Dragon Age. Oh, snap. At first when I saw him, I'm sorry, whenever I see Casey Hudson, I always think of uh, Mass Effect because he was the head honcho behind those games. And I was like, oh, maybe he's a Mass Effect. Oh, Dragon Age. But I was still happy. I was still happy. All right. Without further ado, let me read this article real quick and we'll talk a little bit further into this. Bioware revealed the behind-the-scenes look at the next Dragon Age game on Thursday at Gamescom opening night live stream. This included a look at some concept art, an interview with developers on the project, and an idea of some of the larger themes in the game's narrative. There wasn't a whole lot of information, the behind-the-scenes look, but we learned the next Dragon Age will focus on happens when you don't have access to power, and when the people in charge are not addressing the world's problems. As much as this concept art and animations in a grey room testing environment, it's clear that the next Dragon Age is still early in development. It's surprising for a behind-the-scenes look at the title to still be so vague and unclear. It looks as though Bioware is not yet ready to reveal much in the way of story details or gameplay systems. It comes a bit across like a college ad for the concept of Bioware games, talking about the big picture design philosophies and fan favorite aspects of the Dragon Age franchise, rather than any particular detail of the next game. The next Dragon Age was first unveiled at the Game Awards in 2018 with the tagline, The Dread Wolf Rises, along with images of Inquisition antagonist Solus. The last Dragon Age title, Dragon Age Inquisition, was released in 2014. Oh god, doesn't it hurt when you hear that? Six years ago. And by the time the game comes out, Dragon Age 4, it'll be probably eight years. Eight years total. That is absolutely insane. Now, what do you guys think about this? When I saw the concept and the very early designs of the game, I, I was still happy that these guys, well, from what I, you know, take it with face value, from what I saw from these guys, they were still happy to work on the games that they, you know, they grew up making and loving. And I, I had a, I don't know, I had a good vibe about it. I don't care if it looked like a college ad. I don't, it, it's okay to me that we get to see, you know, some pre-rendered great, you know, stuff going on, some mocap, some voice acting. But it's, it's happening. Slow and steady. At least it's happening. I hope it doesn't turn out to be like something like Mass Effect Andromeda or Anthem. Um, but... Uh, all in all, it's just nice to see that the game's not cancelled, you know? That's like the number one thing. I'm just being, I guess, blindly optimistic here. But, I mean, work with me, right? It's just nice to see it being talked about and relevant. Because guess what? I'm talking about it right now. That's how we keep the dream alive, all in all. And, uh, you know, what, are, what were some things that you guys saw that made you go, Whoa, that's pretty cool. Or, oh, okay, that's not bad. Like, I wish I saw more. It could have been... It's okay if you're disappointed. I completely understand. But it was cool to see the voice actor for Solus. I don't know. That was, like, my, like, key... 
highlight of that video. I, it was just cool. To, I always appreciate seeing voice actors do that stuff, like in the flesh. You know, you get to see them acting it out. And then we got to see some new characters involved. And the concept art was, they looked fantastic. Like, they looked really, really good. It looked very exciting. And I like that concept of the story of just, you know, don't have access to power, whatever that means, in, in terms of vagueness or detail when the people in charge are not addressing the world's problems. We'll get to find out very well what that entirely means, and that will most likely take place mainly at the Taventer Imperium. And I got nothing but, you know, optimism for this, and I'm really excited. So, like I asked before, what do you guys think about this? Was it worth waiting for something like this? Were you guys disappointed, excited? I'd like to hear all about it. And of course, I have been your host, Nico the Legend. You're always welcome to find me on the YouTube. Check out the Twitch, and if you want to be a part of the Discord server, the link will be down below. I hope to see you and talk about Mass Effect or anything Bioware related. And thanks again, guys. We're on our way to a thousand subs, and I say that at 6.15. Blind optimism, I say. Blind optimism. All right, Pathfinders, or Inquisitors in this case, I hope you all have a very great day.